My name is Michael Baran and you are at Wildlife Command Center and we're going to take you out today and show you some things that we do to rescue people from wild animals. Hey Victoria, what do you got for me? Hey Michael, um, we just had a homeowner call. They had a snake on their front porch. All right. They they think that it went down like a stump hole in okay. their yard, but they had to leave for work. They're hoping you can come out and check it out. Okay. Um, can you go ahead and put that in my uh, schedule for me and I'll head there now? Yep, I'll do that. All right. Thank, Thank you, Victoria. You. All right. So hopefully, and this kind of scenario happens often, is, you know, the snake is visible. It shows itself. And then by the time we get there, it goes down in a hole. And sometimes we can get it out, sometimes we can't, but we'll go over there and see what we can do. Uh, so we'll get lucky. Pull up here, we'll be able to catch him, find him pretty quickly. Should be right up here. Oh, look, right there. Right, see him on the side of the, the chimney? Classic rat snake right there. If it's climbing, it's a rat snake. Actually, you know, this guy's not going anywhere, so uh, I think we should take a moment just to admire the how acrobatic they are. A lot of people don't realize how well these black rat snakes can climb. A black rat snake is almost the, every single time a, a, a snake is called in and it's climbing, we know it's gonna be a black rat snake because they are like excellent, excellent climbers. You can see the way his body, and I'm just gonna let him climb a little bit since obviously he's not gonna go very far. But you see how he makes these S's in his body right here? That's where he's hanging on and then he's moving forward with the locomotion of his ribs. That is classic Missouri rat snake right there. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Now these are the, these are the animals that we see um, constantly uh, getting into bird nests in people's eaves. They also eat a lot of rats and rodents inside people's attic spaces. And so anytime somebody has a black rat snake in their home, we know for a fact that they probably have some type of food source. Baby birds, they've either got bats or they got rats or mice. Um, we're gonna run into a lot of these today. Uh, this particular one looks like it's a male. Um, and the males are out searching for the females, so I'm sure we're going to be able to discover a few of these today. So I'm going to go ahead and grab him before he uh, gets into a hole, and then we'll notify the homeowner that we captured the snake that they saw this morning. Now these snakes are not biters. They won't bite as long as you don't squeeze them. If you just stop them like this, it'll freeze them. And then you just gently pull them back. And as long as you don't squeeze them, they won't bite. Side of the building on the 11th floor or where yeah where it's, on, it? it's on the roof so so how did a snake get on the roof of an 11 story building I have no idea the maintenance man is, is staring at it right at this moment all right well I mean we'll go go ahead and put it in my brio and schedule it for me all righty we'll go there right now Thanks. Okay. Bye, Mary. Bye. Man, the last three flights of stairs about killed me. 
The only thing I can imagine that there would be a snake out here is if there's a bunch of pigeons and it's after eating baby pigeons. You know, obviously, looks like they've had some pigeon issues. Those are pigeon spikes up there. Huh. I thought that that was just a water hose. That's crazy. That goes to show the climbing ability of the Missouri black rat snakes. I mean, somehow he scaled the outside of this building. I assume. I mean, he could have been brought in with a box. I guess they weren't lying. It really is a snake on the 11th floor roof of a, of a building. But we're going to go ahead and capture him and... Uh, and move him, move him along so that uh, he doesn't frighten them anymore. When I touch him, he's gonna come. It's a female, female black rat snake. So you can tell by the length of the tail, right here. This, its tail is pretty short from here to here. If it was about this long, it, it would be a male. But the shorter, fatter tails like that, it's a female. So she's probably hunting for uh, eggs and chicks and pigeons, but young pigeons. So we'll put her away and call this one another one. We won. <laughs> hey, thank you. Subscribe right here if you like this video. Even if you don't, subscribe right here.